They were developed by Peter Chen in 1970s and basically it's a visual representation of entities, their attributes and relation between them. So entity could be a person or a thing or a place. For example, we may talk about university setting where you have a faculty and there are students. So faculty is entity, students are also entity or the classrooms that are used, they also can be entities. And those entities may have some attributes like facts. So it could be instructor, last name, first name. Uh, there could be ID associated with that person and so on. And then there could be relationship between those entities. In this example, we have four entities. So these blue rectangles. So you have class section, faculty, locations and time slots. For location entity, there are several attributes like building and room number, what kind of technology is used, what are the number of seats, is it a small classroom, maybe with 20 or 30 seats, or it's a big lecture hall with maybe 50 or even more seats. Now these entities are related to each other. So for example, each class section may be taught by only one faculty and if you read from right to left each faculty may teach many classes. Similarly each class section may meet at one time slot and each time slot may have many class sections running at the same time. When we make entity relationship diagrams cardinality and modality are important concepts. Let me explain that using the next slide. So we are using here cross foot notation. Each rectangle is an entity. Name of that entity is written in the top part of this rectangle and then these fields will indicate what attributes that entity has. Now this symbol here which is closer to the rectangle represents cardinality which is the maximum relationship. So the value of cardinality will be either one or many and many is represented using this crow's foot notation. Similarly modality may be either zero or one. This first picture indicates zero or more. Second one, one or more. You can see here this is one and only one this is 0 or 1. So we are assuming that one person can have maximum one passport. So if you read from left to right we can say that each passport is held by one and only one individual. When you read from right to left it will mean each individual can have either 0 or one passport. Second example each city may have one or many postal codes and each postal code may have one and only one city associated with it. Each course may have one or more students enrolled and each student may take one or more courses. This one is each doctor may have zero or many appointments and each appointment is associated with one and only one doctor. When we have databases and when you have like different tables, so primary key is used for identifying something uniquely and foreign key is a column or columns in one table that points to a primary key in another table. So we have a relation where each salesperson may have zero or many orders and each order can be associated with one and only one salesperson. So salesperson ID in this table is the primary key and salesperson ID in the second table becomes the foreign key. Another example where you have three entities courses, sections and instructors. We can draw these entity relationships diagrams using a tool called lucid charts. if you go to your account and click on drive so you are going to see this screen 
and once you click on new go towards the end where you have more and then connect more apps so if you click on that many different apps will come so you scroll down and go to lucid charts once you click on that in fact you can connect it with your google drive close this so next time you click on new and then more you will see there is an option for lucid chart so let's click on that so i i will allow these so let me just open a blank flow chart i will skip tips i'm going to draw uh, this chart using the tools in lucid charts go towards the bottom where you see more shapes click on that and then you have to select entity relationship so once you check that and say save so on the left you have entity relationship option so i'm going to use three of them so first one is courses so to add another row you just make this four and one more row is added you can delete this to add the relationships i simply draw a line here between two entities we need one and only one and one and many here so for one and only one if you click on this line to the left of this you have various options so you can choose one and only one and because this is on the right side so you should use this one to change anything here so this is one and many so i will choose this similarly draw a line between these two entities so zero and many one and only one so this should be zero and many and this should be one and only one 